you consistently see RWD certainly used in upstream kind of feasibility sort of use cases, right? We've had a lot of success, I think, in bringing that perspective. This is not de-identified data, it's identifiable. It allows us, I think, to really pinpoint um, disease burden, you know, at a community level in a much more granular way than folks have historically. That's been ongoing. You see this consistently in Ation and others sort of baselining of use of RWD. I'd say the second, like I said, we've done a lot of work in RWE. Um, this is not a new area for us. What is new though is thinking about how we can now bring these sites and PIs, right, that we've now talked about and start to think about running RWE studies differently. And so there's some really exciting work I think that we've been doing in that, that category as well. Because fundamentally, if you can interact with the patient, right, you can start to, I think, generate interest, excitement, and data in different ways than I think maybe a traditional view in RWE. Sure. John, anything to add about RWE, RWD being incorporated in today's trials? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think Tony hit um, um, one of the really big points is that it, we engage with patients in a very different way than a, a traditional RWD broker would, obviously. And that relationship allows us to go a lot further and to engage in hybrid studies that really go the last mile in answering research questions that, that sponsors simply can't answer via RWD alone in order to really inform their understanding of how their drugs are performing in the real world and things like the, you know, health related quality of life associated with their treatments and other, other questions of interest. You know, and I think it's one where it, we've, we've built our trials business on, on really the backbone of real world evidence and to be able to inform things like how we develop the protocols or how we develop our cohorts, how we do things like site identification, um, startup and really how we how we think about every problem at hand is how do we adapt these questions to the the data that's available to us uh, as a retail pharmacy and then how do we start to shape the thinking in in pharma around that data as well there's there's a lot of interest in RWD but a lot of it um, is focused on tokenization in the use of the identified data and we really have a different paradigm that has a lot of different strengths and use cases. And so early on with sponsors, it becomes a, a matter of educating them, walking through what's possible, and then building out novel study designs to be able to utilize those strengths.